Hey. Flowers? Where are you going? I gotta go to work. Double book. We have a lunch date. Yeah, I'm double booked. I'll call you later. Bye. Bye. Really? Love you. Really, bro? Not funny, Pierce. Put these in water, please. Chop, chop. Oh, your manicure is called today? She said, I'm calling to remind Brooke. Her Manny and Petty appointment for 4 o'clock today. Please tell her not to be late. Again. Every time she's late, it pushes me back. And I have to drive all the way across town. Driving across town can be such a task. Oh, your shipment from Designer Clothes Out arrived this morning. Yeah, great. I'll schedule yourself to organize my closet tomorrow. Yay. Anything else I need to know? No, lightning hasn't struck yet. New message. Brooke, hi. Your mother and I have been trying to get in touch with you, thinking we could. Your message has been deleted. New message. Hi, Brooke, it's your mother. Haven't heard from you in a while. Are you okay? You've canceled three lunches with me, dear. Please call home. Steel Real Estate, this is Pierce. Pierce, it's Bill here. We have an appointment to see 14 Crescent. Is Brooke on her way? Uh, yes, Brooke is on her way. Uh, she'll be there very, very soon. Yes. Yes, okay, Bill. Thanks, bye. Brooke, it's 1223, and your 12 o'clock is waiting. Yeah, I, I thought I asked for that to be rescheduled. Who's not doing their job? Uh, you. Just because you haven't sold a house within the last five months doesn't mean you gotta be nasty. You know what, cute Pierce? That house has been on the market for the last eight months, as if these people are even gonna qualify. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Whose name is on the door? Brooke Steele. That's right, that's my name. Thanks for calling Pink. This is Tia speaking. Hey, I'll be there after my showing. Did I ever tell you how much I hate this economy? What economy? No one would even know you were suffering, especially the way that you live. You're joking, right? I have got to sell this house. I'm hardly living off commissions from my last sale. You can never make enough money. Are we going to the club again tonight? You have so much extra free time at night right now. Wait, so whatever happened with you and Johnny? My off again, on again, what about him? He's following his passion, a musician that doesn't make any money. I'm interested in meeting a man with a real job. Hey, I'm at my appointment. Wish me luck. Oh my goodness, I apologize to keep you waiting. This 16,000 square foot house has seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, four fireplaces, and two bars. Uh, it has an indoor pool and a spa. <laughs> Did I mention it has a spa? I just love the spa. It has a waterfall and a steam room and a sauna. This is a real hot property. That's great, but does it have a wine cellar? Absolutely, let's go, come on. Wow, you know what? Those glasses really match your purse beautifully. Uh, so you uh, are having a little baby. Yes, we're very happy. Do you know if it's a boy or a girl? Oh, we'll be grateful for a healthy baby. <laughs> this will be one of my greatest accomplishments next to marrying Bill. <laughs> wow, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, um, let's go inside. Okay, and you've seen this cellar already, and what do you think about it? Isn't it great? It's a nice feature, yeah. I love it. <laughs> oh, excuse me just a moment. Go ahead, take a look around. I'll be right with you. Steel Real Estate, Brooke Steel speaking. <laughs> I need you to listen to me. Um, you've changed ever since you started your own company. I mean, do we need to have a meeting about having a meeting? I miss us, babe. You know, you know what, Johnny? You're overreacting, and uh, you're the one that's changed ever since you stopped working for your father. I gotta go. Bye. 
Isn't it great? Are you ready to make an offer? House a few doors down sold real fast, I know. I sold it. How long has this one been on the market? Well, um, a couple months. Like eight. I think we're still looking around. I'll be in touch with you. Great. Greatest accomplishment of my life. Did you see the signs are all around? Catch them quick before you hit the ground. Wake up, wake up, alarm is loud. It's getting louder. Girl, you're prouder. You sell real estate, but your state ain't real. Orange, you looking hot. What? Did you uh did you change your foundation? Why are you so orange? I tried a new sunless tanning lotion this morning. I'm not looking orange. Does she think I'm yeah, looking orange? Yeah, you are. Denial. Oh, wow. Okay, that's not good. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're right. I gotta go. And wash this off. Yeah. Later. It doesn't matter your color white, orange, or black. Change your ways before you can't go back. Change your ways before you can't go back. Cleanse yourself of sin number two. Girl, that is what you gotta do. Girl, that is what you gotta do. of a new beginning. Who are you? The real question is, who are you? I needed the money for gas. My client didn't show. I owe you. She's just really busy. I'm sure she'll make time for us one day. Really, Brooke? Dead? Did you think you were going to live forever? I don't do dead. Please put me back. You've got the four bedroom house, designer shoes and clothes, a BMW, a 60 inch flat screen TV, and a boyfriend that adores you. I've got to get back now. Why do you feel you need to go back? Did you see the bath ring I left behind? 
It looks really dirty like I took 20 baths in a row and never cleaned it. That bath ring is a result of that stupid sunless tanning lotion. How will I be remembered? Brooke Steele dies leaving behind a nasty bath ring? It has to be taken care of. I gotta go back and clean it. So you need to go back to clean your dirty bathtub? What's more important than what people think and, and, and making money? I've got to sell that mansion. Seems to me that you're giving your attention to something that has no significance. Oh, let me guess. I'm supposed to fall in love like Bill and Mrs. Greatest Accomplishment. You probably wouldn't recognize your prince unless he came in a box from Tiffany's. When was the last time you talked to your parents? Your choices have allowed you to accumulate many possessions. I needed those things. You believe that accumulation would lead to happiness. Did those things really make you happy? You know, I'm not like you, Miss Perfect Angel. What does it feel like to have all the answers and fly around all day? Okay, maybe I didn't make the best choice for the situation. So now that we've established that, um, what do I need to do to go back to Earth? Uh, click my heels three times? Brooke, please, this is in Kansas. I am not okay over here, do you understand that? I need to go back right now! Brooke? Do I know you? Thomas Edison High? We were once best friends. Julie Bentley, is that you? Maybe it's not obvious what I died from. Well, let's just say I couldn't stand to be me for one more day. What'd you die from? Betrayal? Where are your pom-poms now? Julie? Next stage requirements are that you forgive. Are you ready for your advancements? I just want you to know that that was really hurtful. So you said that the act of forgiving has nothing to do with the other person, but is strictly done for my own growth, right? Correct. Let's go to the next stage. I'm sorry, Julie. I forgive you. Wow, she forgave me. Brooke, do you have someone to forgive? No, no, I'm good, no one to forgive. Really, Brooke? Are you enjoying a healed relationship with your father? How does one have a relationship with someone that's not around? And even when they are, it all feels the same. How do you do that? You get to choose, Brooke. To be, do, and have. Will you love or hate? Struggle or prosper? It's your choice. Your father could only have treated you the best way he knew how. You allowed resentment to build and remain within you your entire life. Where was the 10-step support program to attend on releasing that? It's called forgiveness, and it's just one step.
Brooke, hi. Pumpkin, how are you? Dad. I'm so glad to hear your voice. Um. I've been holding a lot of anger uh, about the time that you, well, you used to yell at me and you would hit me with that broom. And I completely missed this afternoon's appointment. There's a good reason for it. I'd like to invite you over to my place tomorrow afternoon. Bring your daughter. Thank you. Thank you all for being here today. As some of you know, I had the craziest experience of my life. Yesterday when I was applying sunless tanning lotion, it turned my skin a horrible orange color. In my attempt to get it off, I was in the bathtub and I slipped, fell. Don't know exactly what happened, but it seemed that one of the things I would leave behind is a nasty, disgusting bath ring. Then I came to realize that it's really my relationships with you, my friends, my family, and my clients. So, I've asked for forgiveness from most of you here. And I'm still seeking forgiveness from some of those whom I've hurt very much. If you know one thing about me, I'm OC. <laughs> Obsessive compulsive. So that being said, consider getting a natural tan. <laughs> What's this? Open it. That's for gas money and my missed appointments. Did you guys see Johnny? He's really hurt. I don't think he's coming, Brooke. Okay. I know, that wasn't good. I went to his house and I called him many times and he's not answering his phone. This is not good. Honey, you have really had an epiphany. You are a changed woman. I can see this positive shift in you. You should write a book. Call it the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. You should. <laughs> we love y'all. Thank you. Soon. Brooke Steele speaking. Hi, Brooke. This is Marcella at SNS Publishing. We want to publish your manuscript, The Bath Ring. That's, that's great. 
Thank you. Of the many things I allowed to go down the drain was my love for Johnny, a boyfriend I dated for many years. He treated me like an angel. I lacked the insight to realize how truly important he was to me. I now know that money does not buy love. My, my, how one's perspectives can change in the time it takes to run a bath. Think about this. If everything in your life was thrown into a bathtub, what would you let go down the drain? Sometimes we let the best things go, and all we're left with is an ugly bath ring. Don't really let this happen to you. Uh, hi, if I can have you guys just line up right over here, Brooke's gonna be signing books now. Thanks so much. Oh, and Brooke, get your pen ready. Get to do a hand exercise. Okay, I will. Thank you. I was, uh, reading the bath ring. Did you really mean everything you wrote on page 45? Yeah, every word. Well, I, I don't have a bath ring, but I do have this ring. Oh. <laughs> Wanna trade? Yes. <laughs> hey, you, I'm standing here with heart in hand. Got you, something that you can't withstand. Give me one chance and you see. Things are different. I got love that can change, make a difference. I know you have heard all this before, but you know there's never been someone like me. I'll do things that will change your pain into pleasure that you can't even imagine. Open your heart, open your heart, open your heart. Let all your hurt, let all your pain, let all your scars fade. It'll be a start, a brand new start, but good takes over. Replace the bad, redeem the past, you will recover. You smile, cause you know in your heart I'm right. You shine, when things I say come into mind. I know when you are sad, and when you are mad. I can make your day brighter Hey girl, let me come into that place Your world is all I wanted I will stay for your pleasure and for your treasure I'll take the measure I need to make you feel right Open your heart, open your heart, open your heart let all your hurt, let all your pain, let all your scars fade It'll be a start, a brand new start, but good takes over Replace the bad, redeem the past, you will recover You smile, cause you know in your heart I'm right You shine